Hello everyone, right, I've been out doing some experimentation with some off-grid messaging with, uh, in my case, Meshtastic and the whole idea was I went up to Midwells on a camping trip and I wanted to try and establish some fairly reliable text messaging comms back to my base camp, my vehicle. In the past, I've sort of managed to creep maybe one message back but uh, I wanted to put some sort of uh, node in between and try to establish, try and hit my target of messaging from the trig point that's way up on the top of the plateau back down to the vehicle that's right down in a valley. So uh, yeah, stick with it and uh, see how I got on. Okay, thanks for sticking with it. So uh, here back at base, now I'm back home. I am now going to show you what uh, equipment was in use, otherwise it might get a little bit confusing. So on the vehicle, I had my base bird one node, which is uh, something very simple in a box I had lying around with USB lead, data grade, so I can update it without taking it out of its box. And uh, that's just got the simple antenna connection there. And uh, with that, I use this antenna which is one that came from Pi Hut, okay? So that's uh, one I had on the vehicle. Now, initially, you'll see what happened with this one. This is my base bird one node. By the way, all this stuff is Helltech. They're all Helltech V3s. This one is the Helltech V3 Lite, I think. It's called, I'll annotate, but it's got no screen on it. But um, yeah, this one is base bird two. And that comes with a little tilly antenna like that, which um, is notoriously crap, basically. But uh, I tried it out with this one, which is an antenna that looks very similar, if not identical to the Pi Hut one. But uh, I actually got that one from eBay. OK, once again, the little board is in there with the little SMA connector, I think it is, plus the data grade USB. And then my portable node so to speak freebird one that's the one that tends to come with me in the back of my backpack while i'm walking around okay and i've also got another node freebird two okay now the idea behind that would be if i had someone walking with me i could uh, give them that node and we could get a bit of text messaging going between us with a gps location and also hopefully some test messages or text messages back to base. Anyway, without further ado, I'll cut across to my experiments on the hills. Okay, I've climbed up quite a way. And now looking at the terrain landscape, see if I can see where to put the mesh node, base camp two. Now the campsite's down there. I angled the antenna up a little bit to give me a bit of gain uphill. That looks tasty up there. I don't know if I can get to that. That looks tasty. I'll investigate that and we'll get back to you. So the ultimate objective is to get reliable messaging back from those uh, mounds, namely the tree point mound up on the top. I don't not having too much success actually. I've swapped over to uh, the base bird node now because uh, I was getting a decent signal coming through when I was getting messages back from Basebird 1 down at camp to Freebird. But um, when I deployed Basebird 2, I wasn't seeing Basebird 1. Now, my best guess with that is that uh, the higher gain antenna isn't working as well as the uh, lower gain antenna in hilly locations. I've had that before. Not on this type of thing, but I've had it before. So it might be that, but I can't seem to get any messages back. I'm testing now from Basebird 2, set up in the backpack. Not getting much joy, actually. So uh, I'm going to head up there and see if I get more joy from up there. The actual burial mounds are up there. So uh, that should get this line of sight both ways. So we'll see how it goes, guys. Just putting up a fight, but... Uh, that's what it's all about. You've got to be in it to win it. You've got to work at it. Okay, guys, there's not much more I'm going to do today. Actually, it's getting on for uh, 6 p.m. But uh, the pop thickens somewhat here. That's uh, Basebird 2. 
with uh, in theory a better antenna and I cannot get a message back to base bird one for pretty much anywhere I've tried up here I've tried about 11 or 12 uh, messages but uh, from my bog standard uh, free bird one node my backpack node I'm getting messages back there particularly from this location it's absolutely superb so uh, yeah there's something not working very well so maybe the antenna is actually pants now um, base bird one down in the uh, campsite that's running an antenna from Pi Hut I've got uh, the home node is running an antenna from Pi Hut this is one from eBay so perhaps it's shite well, I have used it before on the base bird one node and it's been okay but um, perhaps it's just not cutting the mustard up here or could possibly be because it's uh, more of a high gain antenna I'm just shooting the signal more directionally and it's not dropping down into the uh, the valley like the uh, the bog standard uh, Freebird one node over there. So uh, anyway, I've got a good location here now. So I'm going to have another go tomorrow. And uh, yes, what I'll do, I'll deploy my other node, my Freebird 2 node. I'll change that one to client from client new. And I'll deploy that here because um, just over the back of me, I've got line of sight. So the uh, three burial mounds, I'll turn around, but it's really windy. Okay, so there they are. So uh, I will have line of sight to here, and I know that the uh, standard type nodes will hit base bird from here. So uh, yeah, and also you should pick up some stuff from further up country as well, maybe. So I've picked up nodes uh, from last night I've never seen before up here. So. Perhaps somebody has installed something around here and uh, is helping the mesh into this area where previously it didn't exist. Anyway, I'm going to toddle off back to uh, base now and uh, I will be back tomorrow to uh, see if I can uh, crack this one and make it work. Right, so last chance saloon for getting this uh, link going down to uh, base bird down at camp. I'm uh, departing tomorrow morning, so uh, this is it. If it doesn't work today, I'll have to try some other time. Anyway, after yesterday's under par effort with uh, Basebird 2, I've now brought up uh, my other small node. So I've currently got Freebird 1 camouflage down in that uh, undergrowth there. And I'm walking with Freebird 2 today. And I've changed the role of Freebird 1 to uh, client. So it will pass messages and uh, base bird is client as well. So uh, yeah, I've let's uh, say ping back three messages. That's currently switched off. So I've got nothing going through that by mistake. That is hitting down into the campsite uh, three out of three so far. So uh, line the site up there to uh, the trig point. It's a couple of miles away, but uh, hey ho, yacht be in it to win it. And uh, the object of the exercise all along has been it. All about getting some Pretty reliable messaging going from that trick point down to base camp. So uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a crack. So uh, hopefully nothing eats it or steals the note. It won't be up here long, just in time for me to get up there, try it. I'll come back, collect it, and I'll be back for uh, grub. So uh, here we go. Okay, right, I'm uh, up on the trick point. I've got the uh, phone down now, I'm just connecting. And uh, there's uh, Freebird 2 up on the trig there. Freebird 1 is way over there somewhere. It's taking me about 45, 46 minutes to get over here. So uh, I'm going to try some messages back now. See if I can get some uh, comms going back to Basebird 1. Hopefully via Freebird 1. Okay, let's get on to uh, what we're seeing. Uh, Seeing Freebird 2, which is me. It's actually seeing someone else at the moment. That's interesting. But the one we're interested in is Base Bird. Not been seen for an hour, it's a bit of a worry. But I have got the cemetery turn right down. Let's try a direct message. Right, I have to put you down while I type this in, guys. Be back in a moment. Okay. I haven't hit send yet. We've got, if you can make it out, I've got Freebird 2 to base bird one, trig one, that's test one. Let's give it a try.
Nothing yet. Disappointing. Disappointing. We've got a tick in a box. We've got a tick. And we've got the person come up, guys. We've got the person come up in the little thing there. To make it out. I'll screenshot it as well. So, uh, hey-ho. Right, I'm going to see if I can get a couple more now. Trig uh, test two, three, four and five. Make sure it's reliable. And then I'll see if I can get a trace route or something. And, uh, yeah. That's looking jolly good. Okay. Let me persevere. It's all a bit awkward carrying the camera, carrying the phone at the same time as I'm trying to type stuff. But uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. Okay, I think we've done it. I think we've done it. So I've sent off five messages from the trig and four have got the uh, little person in a tick and one's got the cloud in a tick. So perhaps the cloud one is because I was trying to, uh, in all my excitement, trying to send too many messages and, uh, I don't know, duty cycle, something like that. I wouldn't be surprised to see all five back at the console, back at uh, Basebird 1. So, yeah, excellent. So, uh, it's over there, that uh, Freebird 1. Just uh, on that hill there, I think, in front of those uh, wind turbines. Now, I did do uh, a waypoint on the GPS. Let's have a look at that. Let me just move around a bit so it knows where I am. Okay, it's showing... 1.77 kilometers 1.77 kilometers it's gonna be one of those two little hills anyway so uh, that's how far away uh freebird one is in the grass there so uh that's jolly good that's jolly good so uh well what's not to like so uh i think i'll have to confirm it when i get back to base i succeeded in getting some pretty reliable text messaging back to Facebook, which is excellent so uh, I'll try it in a few other places while I'm up here and uh, see how it goes, guys. So uh, just really with a bog standard Helltech V3 here, a bog standard Helltech V3 buried in the grass over there, and a bog standard Helltech V3 down at Basebird, albeit with that uh, slightly improved uh, antenna on the roof of the vehicle. So. Uh, that's pretty decent, mine, because that's uh, it's not expensive kit, and I now have um, some pretty decent uh, off-grid text messaging type stuff getting back to base, which uh, that's what really it's about for me. Okay, it's nice to see uh, nodes all over the place, and for some it's become something of a node spotting exercise. But uh, I tend to take a few nodes away because some of the places I go, there is no uh, messaging, no mobile phone signal, no nothing. So especially when my missus is with me, I can set up a base bird back at uh, whatever we're staying in. And uh, yeah, I can deploy one of my other nodes and uh, get some messaging going while I'm out walking. So uh, yeah, the only thing I've got to sort out, what's the matter with uh, base bird 2? Because that uh, was something of a flop yesterday. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, sort that out. And then uh, my little four node setup should be good. Anyway, as you can see, I'm 1,500 feet up here. There's some uh, good uh, higher points around as well. This is why it's not always that great for radio up here. But uh, you can see if uh, a few more nodes uh, decided to get out to some high ground, it would be easy to mesh these uh, places together and uh, provide comms down into some of these uh, valley villages and towns. So looking over there towards Penavan, Corn Day, that would be uh, Van Grahillik over there. And that's going to be uh, Hay Bluff over there. So uh, there we go. Just by a uh, bit of thought, a bit of placement, it's surprising what you can do. So uh, yeah, I'm using Meshtastic at the moment. I dare say I've not um, looked at Mesh Core at all, but uh, I'm sure it's a similar type of thing. And uh, there we go. That's what you can achieve with a bit of effort. And it has been quite an effort, actually. I have that to walk quite a way, but I love walking, so... Uh, what's not to like so anyway i have seen a few uh, other nodes appear on uh, the node list so i'm gonna fire something out on long fast so not to be antisocial, and i'll see you else i've seen before uh, i trek back and on the way back i'll uh, see what i can hit i don't think i'll get um well, perhaps i will down in that valley over there that would be uh, phenomenal but uh, i'll do a few tests on the way back 
And when we get back to uh, base bird, we will see what's made it back and what's not. Okay, catch you in a bit. Okay, pretty much done up here now. So uh, I put a message out on uh, long fast, anybody about your know, Bilf Wells, Mid Wells, seeing quite a few nodes, nothing coming back. So if anybody has seen this message come up on long fast, let me know in the comments below. Uh, seeing quite a few nodes actually. So uh, I screenshotted those. So uh, see if you see yourself on there. And uh, way to go, really. So, uh, yeah, it's always nice to see some nodes appear. But uh, like I say, it's not really my primary uh, thing with this uh, type of thing. Mine is more of a, a sort of use case type uh, arrangement for me to get messages back to base. So uh, there we go. I should be trekking back shortly. Uh, hopefully you can find uh, Freebird 1 over there. And uh, get back down to the vehicle and check on the console to see what has managed to make back message-wise. Right, thanks to the powers of GPS. I have found the little bugger. There he is. Done a good job today. Done a good job. Right, catch you from base. Right, so I'm back. And let's see the results back at the partner tablet to base bird one. And uh, yeah, let's see what we've got. So um, FRE2, Freebird2, that's the one I was walking around with. Let's see what made it back. So, uh, okay, so we got test one, test two. That's the two tests I did from the deployment position of Freebird1. And then here's the good ones, look, the important ones. Freebird2 to base bird one, trig one, trig two, trig three. Trig four, trig five. So all of those messages I sent from the trig point got through, even the one with the cloud next to it. So that's sort of jolly good. And then I sent one more as I was departing. Uh, trig six, departing now. So that's great. A uh, slight disappointment here though, because I got a message back from it's a second dip. That was the second um, dip in the ground that I stopped off at, but didn't video. The other one I stopped off dip one i didn't get those messages back which is uh, a little bit disappointing but um hey ho perhaps uh, it was uh because i had the bag on the ground whatever if i'd lifted it up perhaps just uh, a meter it would have uh, made all the difference so uh, there we go so that's the result from freebird 2 which was the one that was with me in the backpack so um long fast that's the message i sent out from the trip point on long fast, so it says anyone around near Bilth Wells, Mid Wells. Didn't get any answers to that, so that was a little bit of a shame. So I've seen a fair few nodes from up there. And then Freebird 1, just a couple of test messages back to make sure I was seeing Basebird 1 when I deployed the uh, node up on the hill today. So uh, that's jolly good. So I would say that is pretty, pretty damn good for uh, just the basic kit that I was using. Anyway, so I could look at the uh, node list. So it's been seeing my nodes. And then nothing then apart from itself, Basebird 1, Freebird 1, Freebird 2. And nothing then for five days. So the nodes, I saw quite a few nodes from up by the trig point. So that wasn't um, coming through from anywhere else apart from uh, Freebird 2 was seeing that. And because Freebird 2 is set to client mute, then that's why uh, they didn't get relayed back here. So uh, there we are. I'm pretty impressed with that little bit of uh, effort today. And uh, yes, from the trig point back to base bird, I've managed to get 100% success, which was the whole purpose of this exercise. Really pleased. Anyway. Hopefully that's of been of some interest and I will catch you on the next one.